just all the differences together in one community and like yeah, just being kind of accepting everything and everyone lives there. Well, I think cultures is just your history and then uh, your special little things like tea and, and, and everything, to, everything together and then each country has its own culture and it's very important. Never forget this guy. Can we put that coin in the back last time? <laughs> the people I don't know even their accents were the strongest at the baby. Okay, one of the things that was, at least to me, when I was hearing those, those people say uh, what culture is, lots of similar words to what you guys came up with, with, but one thing that they came up first that we didn't mention was language. Why, why that is, you know, UK, Europe, there's all these countries so close together and all they all speak different languages, right? So that is a very distinct part of culture that as a, people in North America where there's just only a couple languages spoke, we don't even think about, right? We don't think of language as being part of culture because we don't see other languages very often, right? So culture is a lot of things. You also notice, did the different people that were interviewed, a lot of particular ones that were not British, wore different style clothing than some of the other people? Clothing, all that stuff is all part of the culture. Yes. Culture is like where you came from, right? Um, Basically. Well, th that's your heritage. Heritage mm -hmm. is part of culture. Culture is just how all these things kind of come together. Again, it's hard to use one word to say what culture is. It's everything that encompasses the customs of a region. We should look up the definition of culture. It. it it's just a list of things like we just you did. you just take off the whole paper we can do real quick? Do, okay, we, we're almost done for today. What is the question I should ask when describing human environmental interaction? How do people use the land? How have people changed the land? Where do most people live in this place? Why do you think people settle in this place? Okay, what does that mean? Well, when you're describing an area, it's been changed by humans. There's very p few parts of the world that have not been changed by people. When you look at a, re a region, you need to figure out how humans have affected that. Some areas more than others. If you're talking about Western, Where's sorry, all Eastern Indian? Russia and Siberia, things have not been changed all that much. There's not that many people, right? However, if you go to a metropolitan area, Things have changed quite a bit. Let's talk about Kansas City metropolitan area in general. In general, why do you think people settled in Kansas City? Why was it this spot on Earth and not 50 miles down the road? Yes. Because we are in the middle of the country. Well, we, they decided to find the exact. Well, we're not exact middle. That, that's in like yeah. Western Kansas. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it, it's hard to answer, yes. Because there's a lot of coal. There's a lot of coal? And a lot of flat lands. Railroad. Well, it, it, is Kansas City flat totally? No. No? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Not lake, but the rivers, right? Have you ever been, uh, what divides up Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas, Missouri? A river. Two rivers, Kansas and Missouri, right? Why would being, starting a community on a river be an important thing? Because you get a supply of water. Well, you get to drinking water, yeah, but uh, think in terms of long ago, but yeah, transportation. Uh, 200 years ago, there wasn't railroads. There weren't, uh, there were roads, but there weren't uh, cars and stuff. If you wanted to get a bunch of what we have a lot of, which is agriculture products, right, food, to a bigger area, you had to use a river, a barge, a boat, right? Of course. Kansas City was a great place for that because you had the Missouri and Kansas River coming together. And down the river was a very large city. What large city is down the river from Kansas City? New Orleans. Well, way down, but there's one closer. St. Louis. St. Louis was a, a big city at the time. We uh, supplied them with a lot of food. Yes. Is there a river? Because I thought St. Louis is to the side. Wait, the river goes wait, down. Wait, wait, wait. Missouri goes through. Missouri River goes through St. Louis, to, and, and then it 
it goes with the Mississippi. The Missouri flows in the Mississippi at Missouri. Anyway, that is uh, one reason. Conversely, has <coughs> our, has the land changed since people started living here? Yeah. What did it look like before there were people? A lot of trees. Like a desert. Good, a lot of trees. Most of uh, the United States, about east of Topeka, coming east, was all one big forest like what you see out this window. That's it. Is that the case nowadays? No. No, when you drive across Missouri, you drive across uh, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Pennsylvania, you see mostly farmland, right? That was all one big forest at one point. I thought we were under... I thought we were always underwater. What? Nothing. Oh, you mean long, long ago? Underwater? Yeah, like before like people. 20 million years ago. Like when there was dinosaurs? Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yes, we I wish there was uh, why don't they look for dinosaurs? Okay, I think this is a good place to stop. Okay, we'll finish this on Tuesday. I'll eat our shit.